All right, so in this video, I want to build on what we went over in the template class video and just add the rest of our views. So we want to add, for instance, our register page, um, the actual topic page. So we're going to bring our HTML into our views or, or into our templates. All right, so let's go ahead and open Notepad. All right, so I also want to um, open up our HTML folder just so we can grab the layouts we need. All right, so I'm going to start with the um, let's do the register. Uh, wait a minute, one second. Okay, so I'm going to open my register, I guess, controller. And I can use the index as kind of a starting point. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. All right, so remember we always want to include our initializer um, and we're going to define the template we want to use, which in this case, let me see, it's going to be uh, this register template. So all we have to do is replace this with register. We can get this out of here for now. All right, so just these few lines of code should bring in our template. All right, so if we go to uh, talking split space slash register dot php, um, we need to actually add some content to the template. So I'm going to go into the templates directory, open up register, and let's actually just. want to get an example from the front page okay so we can just grab the header and footer and paste that into the register template just try not to get confused with the file names because um, often the actual controller like this register page will also have the, a template named register PHP which is this file so you may have two files with the same name in different locations one is basically a controller and one is basically a view or a template. All right, so now we should have the header and the footer show up. All right, so basically now we just need to bring in the main content. So for now, I'm going to get my static HTML from my register HTML page. All right, and we don't want to get any of the header or the footer because we're bringing those in with the include. So I'm basically going to get from my form. Okay, so from right here um, all the way to the end of the form, which is right here. So I'll copy that from my HTML and paste it right in between the header and the footer in the register template. and. It's a little um, messed up looking. It's not formatted very well. Uh, when you do copy and paste, that's just bound to happen. So try to work with me on that. Or bear with me. All right, that's fine. I hate messy code. It really um, gives me anxiety. All right, so let's save that. And now we should have our form. All right, so obviously this isn't going to work. It's just HTML. Um, but it gives us our UI so that we can actually start to um, use this dynamically to actually register at the site. All right, so let's finish doing the rest of our HTML. Um, as for the links we need to change, because if we click on create an account, it brings us to register.html. So we want to change those. So I'm going to go to the header, include, and let's see, for home, we want that to go to index PHP. And then register PHP and create PHP. 
All right, um, and then for the the logo, we also want that to link to the home page. All right, so if I save this, we should now be able to kind of navigate around. All right, so next I want to click on this and I want it to open up topic.php. All right, so I'm gonna go to uh, my front page template. Uh, actually, we, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm not going to do that until we're actually pulling these topics from the database. All right, so let's just make a topic.php page. All right, so if we go to the root and we open up topic. All right, so basically, um, you can just pretty much copy this. Okay, except we want to include the topic template. All right, and let's do the same thing for topics. Okay, and I think that's oh, also create. We want the create template. All right. So now when we visit these pages, it should load their templates. Um, login and log out, we don't need to add templates to because they're basically just for functionality. Uh, login is basically gonna just log us in through the database and then redirect. Same thing with log out. So we don't need to use the template object in those files. All right, so let's just finish up with the templates. All right, so I'll just close these out for now. I'm just going to close everything. All right, and now I'm going to open up in my templates folder. I'm going to open up create um, topic and topics. And basically, we just want to paste in our HTML. Uh, and we don't forget to use the header and footer tags as well. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I just want to grab the footer and just paste it in. All right, so now let's grab the static HTML. First, we'll do the create page. So in our HTML, you want to open up create. And you want to grab from form down to the ending form as well. Okay, so we'll grab that, copy it, paste it in the create template. Okay, we'll save that and close topic. All right, so let's get the topic.html. And we want to get, let's see, block, pull left, clear fix. All right, so from this UI, uh, this UL tag. Okay, down to reply to, okay, so that's the UL. Then we have the reply form, which ends here, I believe. Uh, yeah, so let's just grab that and paste that into topic.php. All right, we'll save that. And topics basically um, is gonna be kind of the same as the front page. So I'm gonna just copy the front page post for now or the front page template. I'm not gonna grab these statistics though. So here, and I wanna paste those in topics. All right, so I'll save that. So now we should have our static user interface. All right, so we're on the topic.php page now. If I reload, it gives us all our HTML, uh, the register page, the create topic page, 
All right, so um, and also topics.php. All right, and the reason we have topics.php, uh, even though that the front page template is pretty much the same thing, uh, in this page we're actually going to be able to filter by category. All right, so if we click on development, only the development topics will show. Uh, we can also do it by user. So if we click on Brad T81, it's going to show all of his posts, and that's it. All right, so that's what this page is is going to do. All right. So the next thing I want to do is start replacing this, um, these topics with uh, data from the database. All right, uh, and we haven't actually inserted any data yet, and I want to be able to um, fetch and display data uh, before we actually build the, the insert functionality. So what we'll do is we'll insert it from phpMyAdmin. All right, and we might as well do that right now. So I'm going to go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. All right, so let's go to talking space. And we're going to create a few things here. All right, so let's create a user first. Um, we can go to insert. And I'm just going to put in my name, email. And avatar is just going to be, I'll just say, avatar1.jpg. And then username will be, we'll just say Brad T. Uh, password is just going to be, actually, password will be a ha um, an MD5 encrypted hash but for now I'm just gonna let's just put one two three for now about um, say I'm a web developer from Austin Mass and that's all I'll write for now and let's see lax activity will just leave and it'll also um, put in this default value which is the current timestamp all right so let's create that guy um, let's see, data truncated, last activity. All right, so that went in. Last activity. You know what? I'm going to remove the last activity field. Actually, I'm not going to remove it, but um, I'm just going to kind of ignore it for now. All right, so now that we have a user, let's go ahead and create a category of two. All right, so we'll go to insert, and let me add a couple rows here. And actually, this name, we have this backwards. The structure is wrong here. Name should be Varkar. Let me change that. OK, and then description should be text. Actually, yeah, we can leave 400. All right, so let's insert in here. We'll have a category called, um, actually, you know what? Let's just, this will be a technology type of um, place. So web programming, web design. All right, and I'll just put some sample data inside of the description. All right, so we have two categories. Alright, so now we have our categories. Now let's go ahead and and let's insert. Let's go to our topics and insert a topic. Okay, so the category will say one, user ID is one, title. 
let's just say, um, we'll say favorite uh, server side language. And then for the body, let's just say, uh, what is your favorite server side language? And that's fine. Um, and then that's good. So that'll be one. Let's do another topic. And category ID, let's do two. User is still one. Okay, for the title, let's just paste in um, how did you learn CSS and HTML? And I'm just going to grab some sample content. All right. All right, so there is our um, topics. All right, so I'm going to end the video here, and then in the next one, what we're going to do is try to get those topics from the database and output them here instead of these static posts.